guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a sort of advice to current year 11s or maybe even year 10s because obviously I'm in my first year of college what would be classed is year 12 and obviously through year 11 you do learn some stuff and you look back on your time in year 11 and what you could have done better and so I've written down last night I was thinking what advice can I give to current year 11s and I've just written them down on this book actually it's not just advice to year 11s it's advice to GCSE students in all but I've just written down a few tips of what you can do to help give yourself the better chance of succeeding for year 11. So without further ado let's just get into the video. The first tip and it's going to be a tip that your teachers are telling you and that is start revising now. No joke, start revising now. As soon as you finish watching this whole, the whole of this video start revising because I do kind of wish I started revising now like I revised a little bit for my mock exams but I didn't do like proper proper revision and I do wish I did just because being I guess you could say the guinea pigs nobody in my year was prepared for what could be on the exams we got a question about gastro yeah gastro bands not on our syllabus so you need to be prepared you need to revise all your content plus there's any other things related to whatever if you think it's related in some what learn about it it might end up coming up on the exam because the exam boards always throw in questions related to stuff that isn't on the exams and I'm not kidding either because again gastro bands not on our syllabus they're on the biology exam so be prepared that there's going to be questions on that exam that you don't know but for most people for that gastro band question having watched TV shows help them and also knowing so much about society we kind of knew what it was generally asking for us to answer okay now the next tip is related to the first one and that is make revision notes now you will not have time to make all of your revision notes if you start in february because i'm pretty sure that's what i tried to do apart from the barge but we were got set home like to make the revision notes so that's link out I started making my notes really February time I lost I didn't have enough time I only got topics one to four written of biology like in full and there's nine topics so and I was doing the higher paper so I was obviously really lacking and then I hardly made any for chemistry and physics yeah, somehow I got a six in physics, but still revise, because you won't be as lucky, lucky as I was. But yeah, just revise. And don't just revise for the first paper, revise the content for all the papers, because you have more time to revise the content for the first paper than you do for the second. So revise all content, not just one and again create revision notes on all of the content because you've got so many subjects because I had about nine, eight, nine subjects I needed to write revision notes for and you just can't do it not if you start in February whereas if you start now you'll have the Christmas break and I know you don't want to be revising over Christmas but I'm going to have to so you might as well and I'm having to retake English Plus, I'm doing psychology and sociology at GCSE. I don't, this is my first year learning psychology and sociology, so I think you'd better maybe revise now? Because 
if you want to and if you want to know my GCSE results then I will leave it in a card up here here it is up here yeah I'll leave it in a card up there if you want to see how I did with my GCSEs and what subjects I didn't do as well in plus then there's also a video where I did my educational plans and what I'm having to do this year and if you guys are interested I will also put a card up here in case you're just wondering and also obviously I'm saying revise now and all of that and to make provision notes now but you should probably have started earlier especially since I know that you'll when you're watching this you'll have mocks now like I know I had some mocks in December like some people will have mocks in January which I'd say crack on but people have got mocks right now and so I know you this is not recommended but if you've got an exam tomorrow pick out the key points and learn them because quite often the key points they might help you get marks and then you can do proper revision afterwards but obviously cramming's not recommended but if you've got marks now it's the only thing I can say to do if you've not revised already but yeah good luck good luck to year 11s or GCSE students because if you're in year 10 I'd say start making version notes on the content you've already learned so far you won't have that much content but you'll thank me later if you start making the notes now rather than later and if you're going to leave it at any point to later I would say start making your revision notes in August like mid August not mid August start making your notes in August or maybe even when you finish school actually no not when you finish school give yourself the two weeks then start in August because you've got lots of free time and so you can make all the revision notes for the content you've already learned and I'd say that's the latest you should leave it I didn't do that and I really wish I had because you get told that you should like you get told that the previous year 11 say they wish they'd started revising earlier and you don't believe them but then look what happened and then you see what happens and you're like yeah I wish I'd started revising earlier that is what everybody says and so don't be the one who has to say that start revising now start making revision notes now and all that because it takes up so much effort because if you're making mind maps quite often you can only get two mind maps done an hour and if you think about how much content you've got to do it's a lot of work and your hand is going to be aching so just bear that in mind okay now that is the end of this video if you guys enjoyed don't forget to smash a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below and comment any video ideas because I would I'm always looking to do content because I don't know what content you guys want to see so I always want to know what content to do and to know what sort of ideas because obviously I am creating content for you I love creating content and I do like creating content I want to do but I also want to do content you want to see and so again comment video ideas and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!